subdivision plan. Yeah. Motion's been made to make a favorable recommendation on the plat to move forward to the commissioners. It's not subdivision. Well, I don't know, but it never has been. You're getting too The commissioners will on that? No. No. I know. You're kind of nuts. You're kind of nuts. to rezone the property located at 7272 North 800 West was applied for by Todd and Anita Hoshaw. Uh, parcel is located in section 126 range 2. It's currently, uh, currently zoned to Ag. The petitioner's request the property be rezoned to B1 business, general business, as the owner's plan to open a winery to manufacture and sell wine on the premises. The change in zoning will bring the property into compliance with the intended use of the property and the Carroll County Zoning Ordinance. So basically this is a rezone from Ag, but yes. this is the property. You can this see there's nobody after before we get started. One thing that I would recommend just on my end would be what well, we've run into the past that if Mr. Hoshaw, if they decide that you know, this just isn't working out in three years, we're ready to cut town or we're just we're going to be done with it, then we put some kind of stipulation in it to go back to, if, it's an, if approved, that it go back to its original zone. <clears throat> That's all I've got. going to have, a, it's already zoned ag and they're going to be doing a vineyard and they're going to have a tasting room. That's basically agritourism in a sense. What? It's agritourism in a sense because it's, it's a vineyard so that's ag. But then they're going to have, the only reason why we're doing when you sell it on premises. Correct? How many gallons of wine can you produce on that? Your two we're going to be able to do well. Uh, we're planting more Concord grapevines, 60 more plants. We're going to plant 60 Traminet plants and 60 Mediterranean plants on the property, on the north side of the property. The majority, majority of our produce we're going to be purchasing from 218 Market. So our raspberries and then. Okay, so you're not growing all of 
No, no and that's, no. that's one of the things I was going to say is that if everything was being grown on the property, that's that's a different. That's a different that, yeah, that was my understanding. Why I talked it's to you know. partially buying it from a, a different vendor, so that takes it to where it has to be. You're doing so. Yes. Yeah. You're going to be growing grapes, but you're also going to be bringing grapes in. We'll be bringing grapes, raspberries, and blueberries in, yeah. and then we'll, yeah. we'll yeah. be manufacturing our own honey. We're going to do meads as well. We're going to manufacture our own honey and then buy a portion of our honey from Steve Altman that we used to be down here. Is that what you was getting at? That you thought everything yeah, was being I mean, grown was, on the. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of. A, I don't understand why we got to change it to because not everything being grown on the property. And that's what the ordinance states that if everything is grown on the parcel, you can keep it as a special exception. Or so I'm assuming if you had 100% of business, you're going to be purchasing and reselling 60% of it. Yes. Okay. Do you see where I'm getting that camera? I mean, I just. But that's. I see what explains then. That's. Yeah. No, I think he understands that. I understand that. Well, I was telling him when they first started, you weren't even talking about planting your own grapes. No, no, no. Right. we were originally kind only of, going to have right. our own honey on site. Right, yeah. so that's kind of where we started. Yes. But then you branched out, which I think is an excellent idea. Um, so. Yeah, we'll still be purchasing probably 60 or 7 hours of grapes for 218. So you're going to be working with 218 to buy? Yes. Yeah, we're trying to keep everything that we're doing for the business local. I'm working with Alan and Rena at the art gallery. Rena's going to be doing uh, paintings and renditions for the majority of our labels. We're trying to promote local history okay. through the winery. So our wines, we're going to have a Heartland collection that on the front is going to have a picture of Charles Carroll. Now, uh, Mead's going to be named Charles Carroll Mead, and we're going to give the history on the back label of the local event or the local personage that we're promoting. So, Alan's doing photographs for us, Rena's doing art renditions. We're going to be working with a local print shop to manufacture all of our labels, and then we're buying anything that we don't produce for us here. What about the meat? We're going to meat honey. We're going to have our own honey, and then we're going to buy honey. I think he's he's in one He's at sure. the end of nine hundred. I believe he's just across the board in one yeah. That's who we bought our house. We just have not got any complaints or phone calls on us. Actually the only thing we've got is just that phone is looks good feedback. So, so what is your stipulation for what would be taken for passing? Just the that if they pick up in four years and say just it's not working out, uh, we don't want to run into the, what we just had on eighteen. Awesome. So you can put a, the board can put a stipulation in that if the business doesn't go and they decide they don't want to do it anymore, they sell the property, it goes back to its original zone. So that's or if they news. if they want to continue to stay there with their home, but they want to discontinue the business, they would have to right. have that expense. That's good stuff. Stipulation, and uh, would they have to come down here hearing to express that, or? Well, they'd have to let us. They'd have to go in front of the commissioners to take it off. To get the final approval. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just, I was just. Well, I have on eighteen. I just. You don't want that. You're trying to be people. proactive in a sense. Correct. Right. So I hope they're around forever. I mean, no, I think yeah. that's, a, that's a great asset to the county. I think a lot of people are going to like it, and I think they're going to be successful. They're already putting a lot of, a lot of time involved in. So. I certainly hope it lasts for hundreds of years. Sure. In the event of the desert. <laughs> yeah. I'm reaping the benefits also. I just for congratulations. I just want to know who's going to be financially responsible for committing it back to the commission. The homeowner. Yeah, they would come back and make it. Make it. They're going to only spend 200 hours and spend six weeks to get something from me. Like these other people, you know. And, and so you're saying, saying to, hey, we'd like to take this back. And they say, okay, but well, they have to approach the board to, to get it back to its original zoning. I don't think we should put a fee in there because that's something we're going to make as a stipulation. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I mean, that would I'm okay with it. I'm just thinking about it. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, going to be liable to. Sure. 
and then the other, of course, after you, the board would say you and then it goes to fire commissioners for, to go back to the So the two hundred dollar meeting to get it back to it, so I would, I would say that the, the, you know, that be waived because we're yeah. we're requesting that. that. That's just my, you know, your guys or the board. That was just something that I came up with for our previous meeting we had on eighteen. So I do have a question. Sure. That's a lot of farm ground around there. Yes. Who farms that? Um, Denise Craig owns the property behind okay. us. I'm not sure who owns across the street now because that was for sale this year, and we don't know if it's sold or not. Yeah, so that'd be that'd be Kraus. Kraus farms everything, right? and, and they actually Krause farm my mother-in-law's land. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Have you talked to them about the fact that you're putting vineyards because I'm just afraid of drip? Yeah, sensitive crop. Sensitive crop. And have you have you registered your property with Drip Watch? No. Way. You so need to. You need to probably do that. Like you before need to we do, do that. The planting. Before you. Yeah. Before you do anything, <laughs> register that with Drip Watch. You need to get a hold of crowds and let them know that you're going to have sensitive crop there. Okay. Because they do. Because the crowd, spraying for the spring. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah and we've run into that with our grass on the west side. That would be yeah. Yeah. So right when we were plotting out where we were going to plant the grapes, we wanted to make sure we were about 20 to 25 feet. And that's, that's great that you're doing that, but still, but you get wind. You get you're wind. Need 100, 150 posts. So. Yeah. 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 There's some enough. very volatile pesticides. And that, that's, that's cool. Yeah, there's some wide open space right there too for not just drift around that on that crop ground around you, but across the road and sure. Okay. So what is drift walk? I think it's drift wash the O R G right? Mm -hmm. okay. And register your property on that. And yeah, have talk a with your farmers. Talk with the farmers in the neighborhood and make sure that they know you're putting that in. Okay. But also make sure you bring up that you're putting that buffer in. You're putting them 25 feet away to protect yourself and them too. Okay. So that way you guys have a productive conversation. Yes. And I, I believe this, 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 this is but I don't <laughs> <laughs> Is that a politically correct way of That's saying that? Right. <laughs> Legally now, though, they've changed it this past year where they have to leave a 100-yard buffer for on the outside of the field, okay. 100, 100 foot or 150 foot. I think it's 130 feet. Yeah. Okay. But with your crop being extremely sensitive, that would still. That be. Yeah, we'll get that done for soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's good for Especially if you've got pilots like them out there that's sort of going around looking for free wine. <laughs> Talk, so. I'm, I'm hoping for a <laughs> runway. You know. <laughs> do we have any other comments? I see no public. Deb, do you, you're the only public here. Do you have any questions? Or I, I do not. I've talked to him, and I represent the public. Uh, do we have a motion to move forward with this with the rezone? Well, we have one comment. The only thing I can see from going out there is that the commission might have a problem with the roads. The road out there is not very stable this time of year. It is a gravel road, yes. And as long as the commission don't have anything right, and he's far enough away from everything, if the two farmers don't have anything to do with it, and, she, and the commissioner is okay with the road, but the road is really soft. I was out there this morning, very soft. Yeah, it's really soft. Well, they don't have any problem with it. I don't know how anybody else would have any problem with it. Yeah. Extremely soft. <laughs> I move to I move to I
zoning would go back to agriculture zoning with the fees being weighed by the commissioners. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, absolutely. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Drift Watch to ORG. I have one more uh, commissioners to the final approval. Okay. So uh, I, uh, that is uh, Monday. Monday? Okay. Oh, Monday, right? Yeah. First. Nine o'clock in the morning. I'll get on the agenda tomorrow. Okay. And then I'll give you a call and let you know what time I got in. Okay. If we're at the very Same end, room. those have been here at nine. But Same, Same room. room. Okay. Yep. Monday morning. So All right. I'll get in touch with you tomorrow. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. You too. Uh, Cameron, your report. Uh, the month of January, we had uh, four new homes, uh, 16 permits, um, 13 site visits, compliance certificate issues with six. We did three new 911 addresses. Uh, camp company did some changing around out there. Some buildings, a couple new ones went up, took a couple down. Uh, and of course, we had a variance exception request. So another busy month. Lori was busy in the office, getting a lot of phone calls. So this one, a lot of stuff that people kind of still teetering on: should they build, should they not build? With the way the economy is, the way lumber is, and all that. So we're keeping busy. Right now we're watching the river. With all the snow melting, I've been out trying to get out as much as I can because uh, FEMA wants you to keep an eye on them, send them weekly, daily reports, the statewide reports. So we got all those gauges that we, we have, and also they want the eyes on it too. So, so far, so good. All I, got. I have approved Cameron to take the flood training. The flood training. Yes. The flood team started last year and then got shut down because of that. If they do it. Right now, the yeah. NFA just they're throwing out some possible dates. They recommend that you take the course twice before you test. They really don't even want you to test unless you take a pre test. Um, without taking the course twice. So they put it on for free. And that course is at the NFA, the National Fire Academy. Um, right now they've got four dates set up, and honestly, I don't know that any other time to go, but they at least are giving us an opportunity to, to put our name in if it does happen. So it doesn't cost anything to the commission other than just getting there. Everything else is free. So hopefully it happens. You know, it, it might be booked by now because there's a lot of people on the way through. structure that we're built with. No uh, communication with the area plan at all. It's a brand new pool barn that looks like it'll be ready to move in. So the river, yeah. state river pool, state river 25. It just passed Trailhead Park. So no permits, right. so no drainage permits, no depth in the right harbor. So we sent a letter, didn't get any correspondence. So I asked him to send something as well. So See if we can get, get in touch with them. I've made several attempts to, to get get in contact, showed up, and there's nobody there. So. Well, the one up on the river from back in 2018. Right? Is that one where the settlement? The one for the river, they're trying to sell it and they end up finishing the basement. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, the excess space below is meant for storage only. And the letter sent when everything's finalized, they'll get to the wording on that. One of the pictures on the, the website depicted electricity, a bathroom. Uh, the vents were actually blocked. So if it was a flood today, there was no, the vents would not be in working condition. So that's being addressed now before they can sell it all. Great. Any concerns from the board? Fairly productive meeting. Motion to adjourn.
in favor of adjourn? So quiet. Why is everybody so quiet?